Okay, can we hear anything now? Hello? Hello? Okay, yeah, so the Windows update fucked everything up. Is it peaking? Is it too loud? Are we okay? Yeah, so at least I didn't have to go to permissions to mess with things, but yeah, it reset my audio settings. So I don't know what else got reset. I'm hoping my, okay, the cameras all still work fine. I'm hoping everything else is okay. Jim can mute it. Okay, hey, look, the Arctic Fox is here. Okay, so I was saying, first of all, welcome the Arctic Fox to the Footlong Sub Club. I really appreciate it. I appreciate each and every one of the new subs, especially the international ones where the currency isn't as strong as the US dollar. I understand it's, it means a lot to you and it means a lot to me. So I appreciate that. And again, I apologize for the delay. That's what I was trying to talk about earlier. And I want to say hi to everybody. Red Hawk Ravel, Mr. Keeps, Oscar, Yelp, Zoology, and good night, Zoology. PC Low Letter, Homie Chicken. Okay, who else is here? God. Okay, who else? I think that's all, right? All right, see you, Red Hawk. I mean, not Red Hawk, Zoology. Yep, yep, yep. Remember, no porn in Ramadan. <laughs> that includes keyboards. Okay, so let's get started. This is the TX65 with a it's champagne. Pretty. It's more rose gold in person than champagne. I know in video right now on camera, it looks champagne. It looks like a really nice champagne. At least for me, I don't know what it looks like to you, but in person it is, it's got a more pink, reddish, orangey hue to it. So I would call it rose gold, honestly. Okay, it's got a brass plate, brass weight, very nice stuff. And if you want to see more, just look at the unboxing. We're going to set this aside for now. Oh, wait, I do need the plate. All right, I need to take the plate out. Whoops. Okay, it looks like a nice champagne. Hey, what's up, Hangman? But yeah, so. In person, it's like I said, it's it's more pink, which is a shame. All right, because I want a nice champagne color. Although I understand that red, not red, uh, rose gold is very popular right now. But not for me. Definitely not for me. Face cam shows the actual colors better. Oh, does it? I guess so. Yeah, I'll have to. I'll have to change the settings. I mean, another thing is, well, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Before I leave, I gotta say, oh, you gotta go already. All right. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. See, I finally got it. I told you guys when it goes up on sale, I would get it, and I did. Perfect. Yeah, I don't know if you guys know my my gaming handles and names or whatever. They're all burger based themed. So it's nice. Okay, how does that mouse mat feel in comparison to let me bring a novel key sound out. Uh first impressions, it's not as Thick, of course, and not as stiff, which is not a great thing, right? So it, it so because the novel keys one does not crease almost at all. It just wow! lays flat. Hey, Mr. Keeps, thanks for the donation. Look at that, ten dollars. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. 
In terms of texture though, I still think it's smoother than the Novel Keys one. I prefer the Myonix surface actually. Let me see. Yeah, you can you can hear the difference. Okay, can you hear that? Hold on. Let me move this away. I think I still prefer the Myonix one. So just like the other one, although the previous Myonix mouse mat, the, the smaller one that I have, the one with the big Myonix logo on it, that one still is the nicest of the three, I think. I still like that texture the most. And then in terms of these two, I think I prefer this over this. And in terms of the weave, this is a denser, tighter weave. Whereas this one, you can see the holes, the perforations. Yep, Mr. Keebs, congratulations on the 100 subs. I see that you have a, a a custom URL now. That's pretty big. I don't even have a custom URL, mostly because I'm kind of lazy. And I don't know what to use for the custom URL. I'll have to change my channel name too. Yeah, I don't know if I want to keep it to that email. The current email I use, I pretty much never use that email. So I don't know if I want to keep that, we'll see. Okay, so yeah, new desk, very nice. All right, okay, what else are the questions? Hey, VPR, what's up? And Kobo, hello, hello. So, it's not a personal build, this is actually for a customer. She was the same lady that wanted the purple or lilac M65. That one didn't materialize, so I still have it. It's still in my closet. And I think she wants to sell it. She just hasn't had time to think about it. Yeah, originally she wanted a canoe, and then because she missed on the raffle, she ended up getting an M65, and then suddenly an opportunity arose where she could maybe get a spot, but then the person backed off, backed out or whatever, and so then she couldn't get the canoe, but she had already changed her mind, she had already decided, yeah, I'm not gonna get an M65. So she said she was watching my, <laughs> she was watching my M65 unboxing, and she wasn't too impressed and she also saw the build stream for the TX65, the silver one that we built for God and so she just, she asked about it and I said yeah if, if I had to decide I would buy the TX65 over the M65 easy you just get a better overall package if you don't really care about the aesthetics between the two I would pick the TX65 easy it's just all around it's just, it's just better yeah, so she decided to order one. It came in a few days. Um, and so now we're actually going to put it together. So last night I was just working on the switches. These are the switches. These are 67 gram Zillios tactile switches. Hey, what's up, Zoology? Welcome back. Make sure she gets some Sorbo. You need a bad, super bad this thing. Well, maybe she likes it without it, right? We're going to try it with SA Chocolate here. Because not, it's not a god build, right? So we can do what the fuck we want. And it's champagne rose gold and I think it'll look kind of nice with SA Chocolatier. One of the few times it... <clears throat> I mean, one of the many times it looks good. It's just that it's even better on champagne gold. Hey, what's up, Long Cutie Pie? 
Okay, yeah. So I put I had to clip the PCB mount pins or prongs off. And another thing when you do this, make sure to clip it all the way off and make sure that's flat. I see most people when they do this, they leave some stubble. Don't do that. Just that's just lazy. But yeah. I've had a lot of builds where they clip the PC mount pins off themselves and then they just kind of just say fuck it. And then so sip sockets and I clipped 1.8 millimeter LEDs and put them in already. All right, so this build's pretty much ready to go. All right, look at that. So I did a lot of work last night. Okay. So, and I left some with the PC mount pins on for the modifiers and stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's start with the stabilizers. So, Band-Aid mod as always. Am I running on the Band-Aids? Not yet. For more deathmatch swiping sounds. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. I... I just I just like the tighter weave. I don't know I don't know if that's actually a good thing. It's like when when you're touching someone with really tight elastic skin and you know someone with kind of loose skin. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like that. I like it tight. And young one. No, this is a TX65, it's not the TXCP build. So we're gonna keep it nice and clean. Man, so I had some I was <laughs> so I let my elder brother because we went out for dinner and i let him try a i brought him an izzy peach flavored izzy because i know he likes peach flavored stuff and he decided to get a some san pellag is it san pellegrino san something i don't even know he said it's pretty good he said the grapefruit one is pretty nice i tried it it was not very good and so i had two or three gulps the side the aftertaste is real weird so i just dumped everything else i feel bad but i you should not be taking in calories you don't enjoy all right if you're gonna be fat at least have fun doing it so i just dumped everything else out yeah so right now i have i have all the flavors right now i have blackberry i have blueberry i have well, not all the flavors. I sit in a clementine. That's the only one I haven't tried yet. But fuck that. I'm, I'm not a fan of orange flavored stuff because it's so boring. Yeah, blackberry, blueberry, pomegranate, grapefruit, apple, and peach. So I've decided grapefruit is definitely my favorite. Apple? I don't know. Apple just tastes cheap to me. I guess it's just because every time I fly i get apple juice because it's the safest thing you can get when it comes to a juice so i just got i just always get apple juice and so it just tastes cheap to me And all right, Mr. Keebs, have a good night. Thanks for the donation. Oh, and yeah, Sorbetane prices went up, but not by a lot. I, I thought it would go up by more than that. So I bought five, but oh well. Because the thing is, if you buy from Amazon, you get Amazon Prime. Uh, you got free two-day shipping, so it's actually not bad.
What's up, NGB? How you doing? God, are you still typing on your unicorn right now? Did we go with a steel plate for that one? I think so, right? Okay. Oh, also, I turned on low latency. So, is that why? Is that working? I think it is, right? You right, you answered my questions pretty much immediately. So, I'm, I'm assuming it's working for some of you, I hope. And yes, burger mat. My favorite favorite purchase in quite a few months. Literally at one second latency to broadcast it. Oh man. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, yeah, so I also turned on low latency. So hopefully chat gets better. I say that, but the thing is, I'm running usually at a 15 minute latency, right? So that's the problem. Human bottleneck. Okay, so for the space bar, where does it go? Oh, it says over here. There we go. All right, so second. What in the world? Okay, yeah, I think so. Okay, yeah, so all the way at the end. <laughs> okay, Long Kitty Pie says, I finally saw Infinity War tonight. Don't know how I made it without any spoilers until now. Really? I already know who dies. Well, die is a singular, so let me rephrase that. I already know who die. Yeah, because there's a lot. And I haven't seen it. To be fair, I think the last Marvel movie I saw was either Ant-Man or Doctor Strange. Either one of those. I can't remember. Whichever one came later. And yeah, Red Hog, yeah, that's what a lot of people say. The fact that they killed off so many people. Okay, whatever. You know, oh, sh I just realized I'm lubing stuff, so I should probably move away from the new desk mat. So, the annoying thing is that, you know, then I'd say spoiler alert for that. I haven't even seen it, and really it's not a spoiler, right? But, the fact that so many people got removed should be pretty a pretty decent sign that they're just gonna bring all of them back or most of them right if they just killed off one then you might think shit but the fact that it killed off so many you're just like oh right it's just another saturday right for dramatic effect Yeah, I know. I, I have not even seen Black Panther. Yeah, I, I don't know. Not too interested anymore, unfortunately. Well, to be fair, I, I lost interest after Captain America Winter Soldier, I think. That was the one people were like, oh my god, so good. I watched it, and the whole time it's just... You know, I'm, I'm usually an insomniac. I, I struggle to go to bed. But that one was holy shit. And I don't know, I guess... Yeah, I don't know. Just, just didn't capture my attention. Then again, though, I, I say that, but... 
it's probably nothing specific to Marvel. I just don't watch movies or TV shows much these days. So probably just, you know, an overall thing for me. So for you Marvel fans out there, don't take it personally. Besides Batman is the best anyway. Just kidding. Honest, uh, honestly, I've never been too big a fan of Batman. I think it's kind of lame. Batman and Superman, right? Superman is too OP. Batman's just some rich fart. Man, God, I was going to say, uh, so I asked about the unicorn because I was going to say if we had gone with an FR4 plate with the silence, with the silence switches, I think that would have been nice instead of steel or aluminum. Either one of those would have been, would have been very nice. Because if you're going to have soft bottom out, you might as well give some flex to the whole setup. Hey, what's up, Chairhorn? Okay, so many people that make millions on millions in their movies. Hey, Deadwing Dig, hello, hello. How's work? How's it going? You have to work over the weekend, right? Or at least on Saturday, I want to say. Or Friday night, I can't remember. One of those. BPR says the feeling when the people who get removed have confirmed movies in the future. Yeah, well, it could be running on a different time, uh, on a different timeline, right? Alternate universe. Man, that shit used to be so cool until it just every movie started doing it, and then now it's just Resident Sleeper shit. It's like some terrible, terrible plot twist happens. Your favorite character gets killed off, and oh my god, man. <laughs> Alternate universe, dude. Bet you didn't see that one coming. Red Hawk says, I haven't seen a majority of Marvel movies, so good for you. So hipster. You know, I get when people watch it for fun. It's the people who watch it and, like, and then start having full-blown discussions about it and then discussing okay so there's discussions about the lore and then there's discussions about oh my god that movie was just you know the, the, when you're talking about the plot and and depth in a marvel film i think you're kind of missing the point Bruce Wayne is my spirit animal. Yeah, I wonder what keyboard Bruce Wayne would have used. I'm pretty sure Bruce Wayne would not have used Topra. For sure. He is a man of culture. He would have probably used a dark grey TXCP with black on black keycaps. For that Batman look. I want to go to your keep cave. Diving Dick says, I did this past Saturday. I'm off the rest of this week. Oh, nice. That's awesome. I go sit home, sit in my parents' house, and take care of the dogs for the weekend. 
Oh man. Yeah, dogs, I don't know. So dogs are kind of strange for me. I'm mostly positive about them, but to me it's just, it's the same thing as having kids, right? I'd rather be an uncle than be a dad because then, you know, you get to do the fun stuff. Like, you know, take them to a ball game or <laughs> show them cool stuff, right? But you don't have to worry about raising them. You don't have to feel accountable if they turn out to be fucked up. And people, you know, people who have dogs to distance themselves from that. That sort of accountability, responsibility. And the thing is, I feel the same way kind of about dogs where it's, just, you know, like I like having them around, but I don't know if I actually like, you know, all the sacrifices, I guess you have to make. Does that make me an asshole? Maybe that makes me an asshole, but I don't know. All right. I'm not, I'm not that selfless, right? Some days, sometimes I just don't want to go out for a walk. I don't know, I think the difference is that, you know, I, 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 we never had, uh, we never had an actual family pet growing up, you know, my brother and I had some hamsters, well, not ham, dwarf hamsters, yeah, I had some dwarf hamsters, and we had fish, of course, you know, almost every kid has had a fish, right, we had fish, we had some terrapins, as in the in-between between a tortoise and a turtle, the cheap stuff. And then we also had a, a, I don't remember what it's called, something star tortoise. It's a land terrestrial tortoise, not turtle. And we had that as well. And so nothing very personal, right? So... That's probably why. I mean, the fact that I don't see them as dinner is good enough, right? Chairhorn says the guy crying in a car reacting to a trailer. Wait, really? I don't know. Yeah, see, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'm not too in on the viral stuff. Except for barbecue Becky. Should I even talk about what I'm doing with these this keyboard shit? Alright, you're lubing your stabilizers. Good fucking job. So first of all, you clip your stabs. Clip them to make them look like this. Alright, take your genuine fucking stabilizers. Alright, clip off the fanged feet. Get them to look like this. Alright, so instead of four feet, you make them look like this. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just... I don't know, look that shit up. <laughs> Just kidding. Or or watch any of my other build streams. Okay, and then and then you lube your shit. Oh my god. Okay. And then you lube your stabilizer with dielectric grease. This stuff. Sticky. Greasy. Coat this part. The whole thing. The end the end over here. And then on the inside of the band as well, so this whole section over here. Alright, so do that, and then the band-aid mod, spread lube over the band-aids. Make sure not to put too much, just spread it kind of like butter on a toast. Nice and even, but no lumps or mounds. Right, so effectively what you're trying to do is you're trying to use the lube, the dielectric grease to fill up any gaps between the metal and the plastic because that's where the retta comes from. So do that. The lube is not to make the stabilizer smoother because they're honestly smooth enough as is. 
And your main job is to get rid of rattle and wobble. Hey, CODSKT, how's it going? Batman uses ortholinear. Okay, God says the difference with dogs is that they get hyper attached to their owners. No love for Alfred Pepe Hands. Gotta keep him away from your ELAC V6s. Okay, Worcester stole my bike, says you'd be an asshole if you had a dog and wouldn't take care of it, but not wanting one for freedom is fine. Yeah, see, so that's why I don't have one. I've never had one. And I don't have one right now, right? Because I'm aware, I'm aware that, you know, at the moment, I might not be the best owner. Well, maybe, maybe if I have one, I'll try. But that's what every parent says, right? That's what every teenage parent says. That's what every, you know, young parent says, maybe, if I have a kid, I'll get my life in order. You know, too often, unfortunately, it ends up being two screwed up lives instead of just one. Yeah. Of course, not every parent is the same, right? There are good parents. There are parents who try, and I'm sure a lot of parents try very hard. Okay, Red Hawk says, I prefer smaller animals like hamsters, maybe a rabbit. My corgis have short legs, not long walks. <laughs> very nice. If you don't pull out, boom, you got one. <laughs> Anyone getting into any group buys? Okay. I've not bought, I've not gone in on Violet Tendencies yet. Anyone else getting in on it? I think I should. The thing is, I think at this point, I should just join every fucking group buy, right? At least for keycap sets. Because you rarely lose money. You know, at, the, at least you'll break even if you sell it afterwards. So what I should start doing is I'll just get into a group buy for every fucking thing I see. Unbox them on stream, put them on a keyboard so you guys can see it. All right, maybe I'll, I'll tweak the camera colors even more to get it to be even more accurate. We'll see them on a keyboard, we'll check them out on camera, and then that'll be it. And then I'll just sell it off. Maybe I should start doing that. I wish I could just give them away, but I don't make anywhere near enough money to do that shit. Yeah, because that's honestly one thing that's lacking, just keycap set unboxings and overviews i don't need a fucking review i just need to see the colors and shit or at least to see kind of what it looks like in person or or uh, we're on a keyboard right instead of photoshop images or crap or potato pictures okay phantom yeah r.i.p phantom Deadwing Dick says, Corgi's image, dream dog. I want one so bad. The only reason I have any dogs right now is I don't have time to take care of them. Oh, I don't have any, oh, I don't have any dogs yet. Yeah, see, same, same thing here. I mean, if I, oh, I say that, but I don't know. And I just don't have the financial means for a dog, honestly. It's mostly just that. I don't even think it's time. A lot of it's just money, I think. I don't want my dog to be struggling, so... No dog. Yeah, I have... I have friends who 
when they're out of a job and they're struggling and like I'm gonna go get a dog right because I need I need something and you know it's nice but at the same time like oh man you know what's the dog gonna eat you know what if something happens to the dog what if he needs to go to the vet Okay, Phantom. Okay, if we all get into Phantom, maybe. All right, maybe. I just find it funny that <laughs> the fucking update was we're almost we're almost halfway to MOQ. It's like it's like the snail racing episode in SpongeBob. It's almost a quarter of the way there. Lightning Larry Luciano. I don't know. We'll see. I do want the Violet Tendencies desk mat. That's why I'm thinking about getting the set too. I'm I'm pretty sure I'll get the desk mat. I just want a nice collection of desk mats to rotate so that depending on the, the theme or the color of the keyboard I I can use you know, different desk mats and stuff. See, burgundy, I don't know. Some pictures concern me. It's like the Solarized Dark version of... The red version of Solarized Dark, kind of. Kind of! Nowhere near as bad. But still. Renders are nice. But some of the pictures is kind of, I don't know. Double shot Hangul though. That's some, that's some shit, isn't it? Good shit. Let's not forget the best ones, Red Ryan and Yolch. Hell yeah. <laughs> kind of legend inconsistency, the no legends. Oh boy. Hey, B's in the trap, what's up? Yes, yeah, Serica, yeah, that's what I'll get. I will get the, at least the Mycons and Geometries. I haven't decided on the base set yet. It's expensive. It's $140 for the base because it's, it's performing pretty badly, honestly, for a, for a large-scale mass drop set. It's actually doing very bad. But that means resale value could be decent. It's usually how it works. Oh, yeah. God's Corgi is a douche. He would bark at me every every time I was there. His dog was okay though. <laughs> Mine tries to hurt me every day. Hey, hey, my brother, what's up? That's all save JTK Yotes. No, we have to save. We have to save Red Riot because otherwise. They would have no motivation to make any other monochrome blank sets. Guys, we need to support the community. If we don't... put money into Red Riot, then we won't get Blue Bastion and Green Gangbang. And Yellow Fever? Yeah, so don't forget guys, we gotta buy stuff we're not even interested in, just so that they will make other stuff that maybe we might be interested in. Because otherwise, they're gonna be very discouraged. Do you have a GMK color ring? 
No, I don't. I should. I'm, I know it's free, apparently. NGB says, our daughter wasn't planned, as with many kids. My dad did not plan any of the five kids he had, and look at how happy he turned out. <laughs> she turned out to be the best thing that ever happened to me. She's not a fucking idiot, thank God. Well, that's good. I'm glad, I'm glad your daughter doesn't take after her father. Okay, wow, what is wrong with this tape blazer? Okay, this tape blazer is really weird. It's not lifting up properly. Is it the metal wire? That is so weird. God says, I really want to get a good rotation of die subs. Yeah, me too. I'm waiting on waiting on a few things. I'm waiting on JPBT 909, BSP, three sets. Waiting on Gox, white and black, a uh, black and white, and JPBT set. That'll be pretty nice as well. You guys know of any 65% PCBs with split back space? Most of them have split back space though. So even the Liku 65, but of course this is. It'll fit with anything that's center USB. So might not work with what you want. Sharehorn says, still waiting on my desk man from Mass Drop. Are you talking about the Godspeed ones? I'll probably join GMK Necro and Originative puts it up. Maybe I'll join that just because Originative's doing it. It's safer that way right sort of just don't know how the colors will turn out then again if it turns out bad then we get to see it on camera that's always a good thing right maybe i should review maybe i shouldn't have canceled my solarized dark should have just shown it for how fucking terrible of a set it is everyone needs to see that shit i should just maybe i should loan a set i'll probably ask someone for a set We'll show the the renders, the ideas, and then the change that they made, intentional change actually. And how shit it turned out. Maybe I should do that. I'm <laughs> starting my IC more of JTK Black Power. <laughs> oh boy. So we're on Hyperfuse desk mat. Oh, nice! You got that one. I'm waiting on Hyperfuse Origins. I bought I bought a set from Mago Jesus for cheaper than retail. So hopefully it shows up soon. Hopefully it gets shipped directly to me instead of having it bounce around. Yeah, JTK's new legends are better. 
but not great. Right. I would even call them good. They're all right. They're okay. If they were a thirty, forty dollar set, I would just kind of ignore it. But if they're gonna be eighty fucking dollars, ninety dollars, then yeah. Sorry, no. And the problem with Yolch is not so much that. So not or not just that. The fact that the mods are gonna be black instead of Dolch dark gray is a joke. It should not be called Yolch anymore. And that is not good. That's basically kind of like what happened to Solarize Dark, right? It's called Solarize Dark. It's supposed to follow a specific palette, a specific set of colors. And they changed the set to where it's not even base, it's not even Solarize Dark anymore, but they kept the name. And yeah, I, I don't like that. Hey, maybe I should add the Hello911 to BTTV emotes. Because you can upload some to share with everyone. I, I don't think they have it yet in their library, so maybe I should submit that. I, I don't know if I should submit it as Hello911 or, or submit it as Barbecue Becky. Maybe Barbecue Becky, right? That's the... Wait, God, have you, have you, oh, you need to <laughs> go to the Discord. I, I can't remember which general or keyboards. I can't remember which channel it was in. And then just search. I guess if you search Hello911, you should see it. Or just search Putsy here. Right? And you're going to see the Han Solo movie. Yeah, how can God not know this? It happened in California, I think. Pretty sure. It's so confusing. Okay, there we go. Hammer Brother says he got his box rails in. He's kind of digging them. I feel like a really, really tactile box browns. Nice, yeah, I still have mine. I don't even saw that. I just haven't built a board with them yet. I will definitely do that. And I will put SA caps on them, I think. I think I like, I like having different boards to show people. Because right now the problem is that... <laughs> so if anyone shows up to my place right now, and I want to try my keyboards. It's basically all box whites at the moment. That's the problem.
Yeah, so I need to have a good rotation of a bunch of different switches. Everyone goes to box rails now, and no, nah, I mean, I wouldn't use them. I would just put them on a board for fun, and that's it. Still too heavy for my liking. I like not having arthritis by the age of 40. But we all have different preferences. Some people prefer measles over autism. Or they prefer letting their kids have measles over autism. So, we're all different. Wait, you did what? And it wasn't fun? All stock royals on the board. Did you desolder everything to lube them or something? What did you end up doing? I saw you had a video of something today. I think it was lubed, I believe. So did you have to desolder everything to start over? Wait, what? I'm so confused. Oh. 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 Long Cutie Pie says, I've tried to give box rails a chance, I just can't get into them. Out of all box switches, though, they are my favorite tactile. Well, that's good, at least. At least they fill a role for you, right? At least there's something. Man, PC mount switches are so nice for the bottom row. Oh shit, how many do I need? One. Oh, I'm so dumb. I'm not doing 1.25 over here, I'm doing 1.5.
No hot swap, hot swap. Okay, let's see. Is the GMMK TKL the cheapest hot swap board? I'm thinking of buying one to use as a switch tester. What I would suggest, if you want technically the cheapest hot swap board, get the mass drop alt with the halo switches. Get them, sell the halo switches, and you will have a very cheap hot swap board. That is not complete dog shit. Do that. I'm actually thinking about doing that. Either sell the Halo switches or make yourself some some sacred white and black Chinese bears. Okay, so normally you don't want to put switches in like what I'm doing right now where I'm putting them in the modifier spots in the big gaps so the switches are not held on all four sides by the plate kind of like these all right so but I'm using PCB mount switches over here so I don't have to do switch alignment so it's whatever we should do I even have enough let's see I might have just enough. I usually leave around 15, but this board has more cuts than I thought. Okay, so before I continue, let's test the stabilizers. Spacebar sounds, space sounds really good, pretty good. Right. No rattle. Solid bottom out. No rattle. No rattle. Oh, the switch doesn't sound good though. that hey hard stones so it's not just a leaf you hear the mm, spring sound wow holy shit. that's real bad so let's take it apart reseat the spring and see if that helps Hearthstones, how are you doing today? How's the Monday? Or, what am I saying? It's not Monday, it's Wednesday. How's the week? Wow, these springs. The good part is... This plate has switch start removal. So, if, and I'm using SIP sockets instead of just soldering LEDs in. So, if these do continue to sound bad, we can always swap the springs out later on. Okay, that's better already.
Okay, NGB says, I experienced zeal wobble for the first time the other day. It cannot be unseen or unheard now. Yeah, I think if you use essay caps, it becomes even more obvious. So, we're one piece of mount short. God fucking damn it. Actually, I have just enough. Wait. Lol. I take that back. I am short of one PCB mount. God damn it. Do I do have some over here? Okay, Deadwing Dick says, the ship date isn't until October for the alt. Not sure how I feel about waiting that long for it. Man, now that you mention, okay, yeah, okay. That's fine. That's fair. That's fair. It is It is quite a, quite a ways away, isn't it? That's five months. Damn. That's as long as it has been from New Year, the start of 2018 to now. Yeah, that's... That's quite the wait. Okay, so all the stabilizers sounded fine. Now we can start soft. I believe these switches are in the right spots. Yep. Okay. NGB says, got my Switch films in today. Holy crap, they make a difference. Yeah, and wait till you swap cherry tops onto them as well. Even better. Shady side, but it's legit. Okay, so let's start soldering. I also have to solder LEDs at the end, so don't know how long that'll take.
So make sure if you're soldering, buy good solder. I say that every stream, and I will continue saying that every stream. Buy good solder, buy good leaded solder. Good Kester 6337 leaded solder. Good for soldering, good for desoldering, good for everything basically. If you cannot afford a good iron, at least try to get decent solder. Don't cheap out on solder. If you have to ask whether good solder is more important than good iron, I would say good solder is more important for sure. You get way more for your money. If you get a good iron and shit solder, it's kind of... Right, it's it, It'll still be pretty bad. When you solder, make sure to get the switches to be flush against the top of the PCB. So if you look at your switches, you will see there are two bumps in the corners over here, right? You see one bump. Over here, one bump over here. Very tiny, very small. It might not be very obvious. If you have a switch in person, you can see that. Not because it's transparent, right? You see that now, okay, it's the bumps. The bumps should touch the top of the PCB. Not a lot of people do that. Most people don't do that, but they should. And then solder your switches in kind of a star pattern. This is kind of like how you would put a wheel back on your car. So get this part done right and your life should be easier as you go along. Because the reason you want to solder it this way is so that you can keep your plate and PCB as parallel and straight as possible. Hey, what's up? Feel good music? How's it going? Not shady as a microphone on the space bar. Okay, Red Hawk says, can confirm used shit solder with good iron while waiting for caster solder to arrive. Not fun times. Yeah. Because you have a good iron, you can't you can't make shit solder good. It'll still suck. Didn't you just recently get a bunch of soldering gear in, Red Hawk? You got a desoldering gun as well, right? I think you went all out, from what I remember. <laughs> Please speak directly into your spacebar. Hey, what's up, Devness? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm trying to stream either Wednesday or Tuesday every week. So one of those days, I'm going to have to pick one day. And then we'll do a Let's Build or something at least for that one day over the summer. So there'll be at least two for sure streams. Kind of Friday for sure. And then the other one will be kind of like an 80%. 
chance of happening on that day stream and i will have maybe another one unboxing or whatever just randomly during the week Another thing when you're soldering, try to push down on your PCB so that the switches are pushed upwards tight against the plan PCB and just push down with your palms, don't push down with the iron. Okay, Red Hawk says about the Hako FX 80D and the Aure 474A++ A++ you know what's important to those fucking Chinese, huh? The soldering gun. Everybody says, can you call, just call the stream keyboard chores one day? See, okay, I I, I have kind of a problem. I, I, I don't know. Whenever I see those posts on RMK, it's just, it just looks like spam because you're not contributing anything to the actual subreddit, right? You're, you're not really saying what you're doing. You know, at least put up a picture of some shit, right? Just something. Add some sort of content to it. Instead of this generic copy-paste, generic copy-paste title that just says keyboard chores. No one fucking knows what's going on. It's just bad. And I hate to say it, but that's kind of what it is. So like, you know, if you at least kind of describe what's happening, you know, you can say stuff like switch swapping or some shit, right? Sure, it sounds boring, but at least if someone wants to look that up in the future, they look up switch swapping or switch swapping live stream or whatever and they'll see it and hey, you know, who the fuck is going to look up keyboard chores and then, you know, look at each and every stream to find out what's going on. Like, no one's going to do that, come on. If someone wants to relay that information to them, you know, I mean, it's it's just my humble advice. Wow. That's all it is. Hey, thanks for the the gifts up. Feel good music. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. So just gift the CLD SKT. Thank you very much. Yeah, and don't forget, Feel Good Music has a YouTube video, a typing test, and stuff like that. Go check it out. It's called Nathan Kim on YouTube. Look that up. Lots of lots of cool boards with. with well recorded typing videos definitely check that out much better quality than i would say another bigger channel i would say
Okay, so again, just as you're soldering, just check as you go. Make sure all the switches are still nice and flush against the plate and PCB. Devna says, cool, I won't say no to more of Daddy Anthony. Oh boy. Oh yeah, now you're gonna get it twice a week. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, NGB says, I think I'm gonna get the 660C and use the controller Chokan did. Oh, the Hasu controller? Yeah. I, I like an idiot, I sold my, <laughs> sold my FC980C, I think a month or two before the Hasu controller came out for it. What, the main reason I sold my FC980C was because of the lack of programmability. I couldn't use my controls on it, my, my usual FN layer and stuff. And sold it, and then a month or two later, the Hasu controller was announced or some, some shit. And then, I regret it, I regret it. Would have been nice to keep at least one Topra board. Topra. Okay, feel good music says, Zola, you paid it forward to me. I'm just rela relaying it forward. You guys are very nice. How are you? Santa Claus is giving everything. Passing on subs, passing on the foot long like goddamn gonorrhea. A lot of, lot of sharing, I like it. Sharing and reciprocity, it's a nice word. The thing is, you can say never try Gasket Mount, it's not actually Gasket Mount, let's be real. It's, it's not Gasket Mount, it's... I hate to say it, but really you could achieve a similar effect on, say a TX, say a TX-65, right? I could kinda try to do the same thing, I could just put pieces of silicone just over and under and just sandwich it down. It'll achieve a similar effect. I think calling a gasket mount or maybe not so much calling a gasket mount. Trying to what's what's the word? Insinuate, trying to imply that it's or trying to associate it with the three five six mini is a little disingenuous. That's not saying that the board is bad, right? It's probably gonna be good. I don't think it's in the same category as the 356 Mini. Whether it is a gasket mount or not, it's not so much my argument. It's just that it, I don't think it belongs. They, it belongs to the 356 Mini. I don't think they will feel the same as well. I think that the construction is very different. The way it achieves whatever they're trying to achieve is very different. Again, not saying it's going to be bad, just saying that the naming is, or the description is not too accurate. Or not complete, I think. Because I don't think it'll feel very different from really most other sandwich or top mount. Honestly, it won't feel too different. The way it's Constructed. Hey, Moonman Tryhard, what's up? NGB says, got another Mac cable today. Nice. What did you order this time? I am waiting to move before I get a bunch of aviator cables, I think. What I'm going to get is 
basically the same thing I suggested to God. So a white N that comes, that's PC to Aviator. I computed Aviator. And then said so I'd be white because I'm going for you know, white silver setup, white silver gray setup. And then I'll just get different colored ends for the keyboards. So Aviator 2 keyboard, different colors to go with different boards and stuff like that. I think, I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. And so that way the cable will always be part white and part whatever. God says, we're in the setup right now. We like the aviator look too. You should you should post a picture or share a link of the Discord picture of everyone here. Do they work nice? Do you just have one aviator end right now, as in one aviator to keyboard, or do you have at least two now? He bought his from Mac Cables, I think. Papa Fuse theme, neon turquoise. Neon turquoise with dark purple tech flex, 10 inch coil. Oh boy. How thick of a coil did you get? You just have one. So are you gonna get more? I guess you're trying to figure out what colors to get for your next order, right? I need to get some too. I need to figure out what length I want. Some say they like eight inches, but some say that's a bit too much. Giggity. Aiden just got you, Gazel. Yeah, boy. Yeah, I've tried Topra High Pros before. They were okay. I surprised. I was surprised at how much I did not enjoy them. I thought I would love them. I thought I would like them more than SA, but because in theory they sound pretty nice, right? The fact that they cup your fingers more. But I ended up not liking them as much. I think I, I wasn't used to it, first of all. That's the big thing, because it's just at a meetup. And the other thing was just I'm kind of a lazy typist, right? I, I, I slide my fingers a lot as I move around the board. So that didn't work for me, because then my fingers would get caught on the concave edges of the, the keycap tops.
Yeah, I think at this point I would actually prefer Lube Vintage Blacks over Topra. I I think so. I don't know. I've tried heavily modded topper boards at meetups. Not not a big fan. Like I said, they're all right. Properly lubed and everything, and dome swapped and shit with high pro caps and stuff. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, not really no. It's all preferences, right? I just didn't. Basically, they just didn't wow me. And I think it's a lot of just what you're used to. If you're used to the actuation or the tech cap bump being in the middle and your your fingers expect that, then it's pretty hard to just swap over the top row and enjoy them as much. So when people ask if they should try it, all I can say is try it, right? I can't tell you whether you like it or not. I can't describe it properly to you. So just try it. If you don't like it, sell it. I mean, that's just kind of the way it is. Don't know if it'll work for you. Try it out. God says, if the XRF comes through, then I'll give Topra another try. Yeah, it's it. I don't think it'll show up that soon. I don't think, honestly. Especially because there's quite a few things he's working on right now. So I don't know. We'll see. The thing that people need to figure out is how to actually mod the. Topra stabilizers because they are fucking garbage. They're worse than most co-star stabs out there. Co-star style stabs, I should say. Okay, so for the cock keyboard, yeah, we're waiting on a few things. Waiting on the Zephyr, we're waiting on the... three five six Mini. So, just gotta figure out a few things before we even make any sort of progress on it. Just one of those things, I'd rather just take my time than rush something out. And we still need to prototype it. Yeah, because the mounting mechanism we're, we're trying to use is a bit different from 
it builds on something we're familiar with, but in a different way. So, I hope it'll actually turn out fine. Yeah, because it's not just a new layout, it's mostly a new mounting system, or new-ish. But yeah, so Red Hog is basically correct. Yep, that's what it is right now. Yeah, and we're also gonna do prototypes on plate thicknesses and stuff, plate materials, trying to see what's good. Of course, one thing we can do is just offer a few different options to see what people want. I think I won't offer both brass and steel, it'll be one or the other, because they're both that similar that I really don't think it's... It might just not even do steel plates, honestly, it might just do only brass. That's it for steel and brass. There's definitely going to be aluminum, I think. And then, at, hopefully, at least one plastic option. Don't know yet. The one blessed option. Yeah, so we'll see. See what happens. Yeah, we've been working on something for quite some time now, actually. We've redrawn the thing a few times. The case construction, that is. Changed our mind on the mounting system twice now. I want to say, man, this switch will not go in properly. Hey, Moki Doki, what's up? Good to see you here. Hey, Thick Boy, what's up? Tefram. That's nice. Looks like the whole party is here. Okay, see you, Hammer Brother. Thanks for tuning in today. So the whole bottom row, except for one.
It's going well, Tefram. What about you? What have you been up to? How's the how's the week? Since it's a Wednesday, awkward day to stream. Red Hawk says typing on UT forty seven lube to retool the MX Black. Scott is typing on a Unicorn X Legend, sixty eight gram silent MX Reds, and feel good music is typing on an HHKB. Yuck! I mean, just kidding. With High Pro, very nice. All right, see you there, Wing Dick. Have a good rest of the week. Hopefully, hopefully, I'll see you on Friday. And I think I'm going to stream tomorrow, too. We'll see. We'll see. Freaking Snow Pro PCB is so money, too. Samsung S7. For shame. That's sad. Anyone else... Kinda not reply to shit just so they can go home and then reply on their computer because that's kind of what I do. I said when they're on mobile, right? You see, you see a message and like yeah, or an email, you're like yeah, okay, I'm not gonna respond to it on my phone. Oh, you're in bed. Let's see. Oh, overseas right now, where are you? See all the SKT. Red Hawk says, pretty often, and then I forget to respond. See, that's the same thing. So just today, I found out. So I have a, a friend of mine. See, that's one thing that's pretty funny because every time when I have a female friend, I end up talking to, I end up being better friends with their boyfriends instead, right? Not in, not in a sexual way. That's in, I don't know. I just end up, you know. And anyway, so this other guy mess this guy messaged me and my friend's boyfriend messaged me and he was like, Oh, you know, he's asking, you know, hey, can I come uh we're gonna come visit Dallas next week or something, you know, can we stay can we crash for the weekend, blah blah. So, oh by the way, you know, she wants to know why you're ignoring her. I'm like, wait, what? And then so it turns out it's just that I forgot to reply to a me Facebook message and then she got concerned over it. I'm like, ah, oh, shit. You know, I bet it was probably just because I saw it on my phone and I didn't want to reply to it immediately. And by the time I got back on my computer, I just forgot about it completely. And, you know, I didn't think much about it, but apparently, you know, it was taken as my ignoring someone. And yeah, so it's not a good habit. Not a good habit. Tafram says, I'm contemplating desoldering my LEDs with my Prionic so I can change out the springs on my Tilios. Well, I don't know. I've never been a fan of in-switch LEDs. So, if anyone wants to desolder LEDs, go right ahead. Right. I would encourage it. As long as you have a good way of desoldering the LEDs. Because that is one of the hardest things to do in this hobby. Well, I say that, but it's not as hard as lubing switches probably, which most people can't do. Because most people don't care enough to do it properly. Sometimes I don't reply for weeks before noticing. See, yeah, that's the thing, right? I do that same shit. And then people think I'm being an asshole. And I, mean, I'm, I, I guess I kind of am. But most of the time, it's just like, just, I just forget. I'm sorry.
There's a problem in social media. People expect you to respond instantly. Yeah, and it's why I've been trying to get off of Facebook for 001 keyboards and for just my personal life because yeah. The stupid red or seen uh, timestamp thing is just fucking just canceled. That's the worst thing that happened to social media, I think. Just anxiety inducing. Because then you think of ways to see the message but avoid getting it seen or read. Fuck that shit, man. Yeah, my problem is I can't, I still can't delete my Facebook because of the possibility, I, I, there's always the possibility of me going back to Malaysia, so I can't just delete it because Malaysians use Facebook a lot, and that's how I have my, that's how I stay connected with, I say stay connected, but I don't really talk to them, with people I know in Malaysia, so kind of have to keep it sadly so yeah you can't really do anything in Malaysia if you don't have a Facebook unfortunately But so too many switches trying to desolder LED says NGB. Yeah, so that's why I wouldn't even recommend soldering LEDs in the first place. Most of the time, you're really not gonna use them, and it's just more trouble than it's worth. Yeah, NGB says yes, and it overflows to other parts of people's lives. Not everyone expects shit immediately. Yep, yep. It's, it's it's quite bad. Man, I see some people and the amount of snap oh, I don't go on Snapchat so I wouldn't know. But just Instagram stories. It's just Hey Uncle Bill Droin, thank you for the host if you're here. But what was I saying? I was saying so yeah the some people there's so many instagram stories a day that it's like dude do you do anything in your life without looking at it through your fucking 5.5 inch lcd screens or amoled i guess right Do you have to stop whatever you're doing every 10 minutes or 15 minutes just to post it on social media? You know, I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just too lazy, right? Maybe you know, I'm too cynical for that stuff. I don't know. I can understand doing maybe one a day or a couple. Of, well, maybe a couple is even pushing it. Right, but. Five, six, seven, eight, it's like, holy shit, man, do you just, are you just afraid of not doing anything for once? Or other people not knowing what you're doing? 
at that exact moment in time? I don't know. I just find it exhausting. Maybe I just don't have good stamina. Can't run for president because I just don't have stamina. Okay, so let's look at the switches. I think we soldered everything in. I'm gonna test all the switches before we solder the LEDs. So it looks like everything is in place. That's a good look. I think so. All right, see you, NGB. Have a good night. Okay, Uncle Bill Jordan says, yeah, I'm here, new lurker. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate the host. I really do. Well, you're not lurking anymore, right? You host and you, you're actually in chat. Hipta, Kula Raptor, Uncle B Hype. Hey, Grail, what's up? How's it going? How's your week been? Okay, Typhoon says there are many other issues with social media, privacy issues as well. Yeah, privacy, I guess, is, is the one crouching tiger, hidden dragon, I guess. Well, I guess it's not really crouching tiger. It's, it's a fucking white elephant in the room. It's just big, gigantic. A white, did I say white elephant? Whatever. Big, shiny elephant in the room. That everybody can see. And we, we just kind of just say, fuck it. Okay, so we're plugging it in. God says, the feeling of someone asks you to turn on read receipts on your text messages, monk ass. <laughs> Wait, really? Has pe uh, have people done that to you? That's kind of insane. Okay, Tefram says, first time programming my keyboard and Goyal says, yeah, good afternoon, everyone. Okay, it's all part of build for me. People are crippled by it without realizing. Oh, social media? Yeah, that is, that is pretty sad, isn't it? It called me in. Well, welcome to the stream, fellas. How's the mounting system on the TX6065? Good design. Oh, I know, I know what a white elephant. Yeah, I know what a white elephant is. I mean, yeah, I just, I don't know why I said that. It's a slip of the tongue. Okay, housing. Okay, so the mounting system is it's. It's a standard TX mounting system, right? So we first saw it. I, I'm pretty sure we first saw it on TX boards. Although I might be, I might be wrong. There might have been other boards, custom boards. I mean, done like that. So it is a sandwich mount, right? It just rests on the bottom, and the top and the bottom halves will sandwich the plate. So instead of it just being mounted onto the top and then having the top screwed down into the bottom, the plate just goes, sits down, and then the whole top just smashes down on it. Yeah, so, a bit different. You're gonna just have to try to see if it works for you. People seem to generally like it. Okay, so real quick, we're gonna test out the switches. Shift up. Oops, whoops. Okay, so green is good. That lavender color or bluish purple means switch is being held down, see? And then when you let go, if it's green, that means there's no key chatter, everything's working great. Returns red, that means there's key chatter and you should replace the switch. Don't bother fucking with it, just replace it. If you don't have switches, then maybe try to open up the switch and then blow air into it. Maybe that'll help. But most of the time, just replace it. Just don't even waste your time trying to fuck with it. Okay, so everything works. That's good. My soul says this is a Gundam. It's not! Unfortunately, a lot less violent than a Gundam, but some would say more, more addictive and more 
expensive of a hobby. Actually, no. If you get into Gundams, they actually get expensive pretty fast. Okay, so now LEDs. We've got all the SIP sockets in. We've got all the LEDs in, so just have to solder them. Grail says, hey, Anthony. I ordered, a, ordered black on black from KBD fans. Try to talk some sprit. Got my initial D sticker for Ergodox build. Okay, anyone else here ever played Initial D, I think three? The arcade in, in our, the arcade game? Version three, I wanna say. That was the most popular one, I think. Version four is okay. It, it became simpler to drive, I think, which is the problem. Didn't feel as engaging and punishing. Maybe it's just because it was expensive when I was trying to play it. Four, I mean. Yeah, I played the shit out of that in high school. Well, middle school, technically. Middle and high school. Yeah, middle school, mostly. Thing is, back home, we just call it middle... It was just called high school, though. There's no such thing as middle school. It's primary school and high school. So 13 to 17 years old, it's just high school. All right, so you feel good, music. Thanks for the gift sub. Have a good night. Okay, so Hangman, to continue on the mounting system on the TX boards, on this one specifically, it was actually the initial idea for the cock keyboard. A, originally the plan was to do a similar mounting system but in reverse so the top would engulf the bottom so kind of similar to the Zephyr kind of but there's a that's the different yeah so original idea was to do something like that and then we change to an integrated plate and then now it's something else as well so I don't know, we're just kind of trying to figure stuff out. Yeah, I have been typing on a TXCP as my daily driver for the past week or so. So yeah, use this a similar mounting system. So Uncle Bill, join. What 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 do you stream? Um, if I'm not familiar with your channel, I'm pretty sure you got some awesome stuff. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I don't I don't watch Twitch too much outside of say Dota. Other than that, I don't really watch it that much. Just no time to do it. I should, but just 
Maybe this summer I'll watch more of just variety streaming and stuff. Okay, so right now we're just soldering in the rest of the sip sockets. So we're almost done. I'll probably do the status indicators as well. Uncle Bill Jordan says, I don't stream, I host a lot, got a few peeps, check my host, looking for cool EDU stuff. Oh that's that's pretty cool. Yeah, I do like the hosting system on in, in Twitch. I, I really enjoy that. I think one of my favorite to watch is Megan or 87MS. So sometimes you'll see on my channel I host her quite often. I think it maybe every day. So I set up auto hosting. Yeah, so she does art, she does artisan, keycaps and stuff like that. Pretty cool stuff. And she also streams Let's Plays, so pretty nice, very fun, friendly, happy streams. Okay, so it looks like we've got sip sockets in. Okay, so now let's try that out so these are warm white LEDs there we go. okay so the ones that don't light up I'm gonna assume what's happening is they are installed in reverse so what we're gonna do is because these are switch sockets we don't have to worry about polarity when we're soldering them in the sip sockets this is what sip sockets are for you can hot swap your LEDs so you just pull them out reverse and put it back in and look at that now it lights up and so I always recommend sip sockets if you want in switch LEDs this way you can swap them out if you change your mind you want a different color you want to take them out completely or if any of the LEDs die you can easily replace them Okay, Uncle Bill Jordan says, I'm sort of an ad hoc advocate for Twitch EDU and trying to define nerd hype on Twitter. Hipsters need to create a stuff sometimes. We had a hype team. But that's pretty cool stuff, yeah. I do like, sometimes I, I do actually go to the, I think it's creative? Yeah, creative, yeah. Sometimes I do go there just to check it out. I did accidentally stumble on ASMR. I said stumble, I wasn't looking at them. I was just looking at just uh, varieties stuff. Clicked on one and then just kind of got weirded out. I mean, I think I'm trying to remember what they were doing. It's either a feather or a balloon or some weird shit. I, I thought it's just attractive people speaking into a microphone, right? And it turns out it's some weird stuff as well. And then this is a, okay, this is strange. Yeah, and then I just went to go watch something else. Not not porn. Uh, 
And I think I wasn't the only one confused. I think when I, I remember when I went on, a lot of people in chat were also just kind of confused. Like, uh, what the hell? And it was a popular stream too. I don't remember what it's called. Yeah, a lot of other people were trying to figure out what was happening. Okay, so these are warm white. They look a little orangey. I would say the best way to describe them is kind of a candlelight color, yes. Very warm. Right? It's not just kind of warm white, it's super warm. Almost like a light yellow orange thing. Tefram says, that is what I'm gonna install when I desolder LEDs. And says, I just stream art on creative, I'm not really a game streamer. But you stream art? I never know that. What the hell? Okay, Uncle Bill Jordan says, intentional ASMR is weird and cringy more often as, than not. Yeah, see, I, I agree. Cause I was talking about that, I think, few streams ago and you know I said I get it I get when something feels nice to the ear but on a lot of ASMR streams they go a bit overboard right it's like saying um, let's see what's an example What's an example that's that I can talk about on the street? <laughs> so we've got the LEDs. Okay, sip sockets, heavy whispering is an example. Chewing food really loud directly into the mic. See ya, oh my god, that shit man. Ugh! Don't bring it up. Just reminds me of my former roommate. Oh, hate that. I hate that so much. <laughs> Crunch a pickle. Hey, maybe, maybe. But yeah, see, heavy whispering. Yeah, I just want them to talk, talk normally, right? If you speak normally and you sound nice, great. Talk more. Talk about some interesting shit. Read a book. Do something. Who the fuck talks like that? Maybe for some sexy times, right? But you don't talk like that in normal conversations, so don't do that. But again, right? Maybe that's what people want, right? People like extremes, so I don't know. Okay, so now I need to figure out if I want to do status indicators. Can I just do sip sockets? That is the question. Cause. If you look over here, TX boards, the new TX boards have this weird thing where, see these extra pins over here? That's where the status indicators are for the caps, num lock, and scroll lock. So that's weird. So it'll just basically just be off of the, the switches. Better than on the 75%, I guess. Okay, Hip and I do know some super chill streamers that are not intentional ASMR, but end up being what ASMR should be. But don't label their work that way. See, yeah, that's that's pretty cool, right? Then I guess, yeah, you know, that it's hard to find, right? It's like saying, you know, well, I do like a bit of butt stuff. And then, you know, when you try to look that up, you know, it's just all, oh, check out this 12 inch bagging or some shit. It's like, no, 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 I didn't mean that. I always say, you know, like, I like, I like a bit of roughness. And then, you know, it's full on just blood and gore. And it's just like, whoa, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> That's not what I meant. <laughs>
Okay, so she did say what color she wanted for the status indicators. So I'm just gonna do. Actually, I could just do red, green, and blue because why the hell not, right? Can I change that? This one's red. Oh, oh, it's taped. Fuck. Okay, so let's see how this will work. Because one thing I'm concerned about is how it affect the switches. Or keys, I mean, keycaps. Wait a minute. What the fuck? Okay, wow, that's that's kind of dumb. Well, so the status indicators are pretty much useless. The pins are useless because I'll show you in a second. Let me put this away. Absolutely useless. Because The LED won't even go in and you can't solder the caps lock, the one in the middle, because, look over here, the USB connector is in the way. What the hell? So, you can't do this. Yeah, look at that. That's stupid. So the holes, okay, look at this. Let me show you again another LED. Okay, LED. Right. When the caps lock, it doesn't, it doesn't go through. Because there's a motherfucking USB connector in the way. What the fuck? Yeah! What in the world? So, I guess we're not doing that. Okay, Uncle B says, one is sand experiment. She is a Russian who does sand drawing on a light table. Super pleasant voice and a gentle laugh. She tries to do intentionally as I'm recently as I was, and it was horrid. She doesn't need to try to be that shit now. Now you got me interested. Yeah, voice is a weird thing though. And I hate, I hate, I absolutely hate that I'm so judgmental about voices because I don't sound great myself. So it, it messes me off. Right. It's like being fat and judging other people for eating a cupcake, right? I hate it. I hate that. That's the thing. 
Now, for example, I didn't even know. So there's for nasality, there's hypernasal and hyponasal. And I think mine is my problem is hyponasality. That means not enough voice coming through the nose. Whereas usually when we say someone sounds nasal, that means too much noise coming through the nose, right? Through the nostrils. So for me, my problem is the opposite. Not enough air coming through the, the nostrils. And I had no idea. I had absolutely no idea until what well, I was 20... My senior year of college. So I was 22, I'm going to say. So just two years ago. Yeah, I had no idea until... Took that class and it was the first time that my voice was actually recorded decently because I was taking voice lessons uh, and so every class lesson was recorded and we were supposed to listen to the lessons and practice based on the feedback we got during the lesson and stuff like that and the professor can tell whether you've actually been practicing and stuff right going over the recorded sessions and I had no idea until I, I clicked on one one recorded clip trying to, you know, review my lesson or whatever. And I was like, oh my fucking God, that's me. And yeah, sure enough, that is me. And the annoying thing is, so I, I remember mentioning it to my brother. I was like, man, I never know. My, I sound, you know, I, 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 I have... That I sound like that. I sound like a fucking moron. And and my brother was like, "Yeah, did you not know that? I just didn't want to tell you." I'm like, "What the fuck, dude? You're my elder brother. Just tell me, right? You should have told me that a long time ago. Now it's too, too. We're too far in. It's it's hard to change now." Chairhorn says, I have no idea why ASMR would be appealing. Whispering fucking pissing me off to no end. People eating misophonia. Is that where you cannot stand people chewing and you cannot stand just people making noises? Because I'm pretty sure I, I... Now, it's the problem is that it's not actually a thing, right? It's not part of DSM. It's not a, a diagnosable thing. It's just a self-diagnosed thing. And... Uh, if it were, then I I would go check myself out because I, I'm pretty sure I have that shit. Quite sure. Gotta line up those burgers. That look good. We need to show the last line of burgers. Oh no. I'm exposing it. That'll do. Man, this desk man is so awesome. Okay. So. Okay, yeah, Uncle B says, another is Dr. Pamela Gay, astronomer, boss lady of Cosmo Quest X, which has multiple hosts. That's creative as Star Strider. She's been called ASMR that doesn't even know what ASMR is. Very nice. Hey, Walter Troll, welcome to the stream. Yeah, my Onyx Pad, yep. Yep, it's, it's very nice. They have a few versions of this, but when I saw this one, I knew I needed to get it. Oh, yeah. 
Thick Boy, actually, I, you will really like this, but it's clo- It's a bit closer to rose gold than champagne. So I know in the video, it looks very champagne. It's actually a tiny bit closer to rose gold. It's a bit more pinkish, orangey in person. Whereas in the pic- in the, on, on camera, it looks more gold. I think that's, yeah, see, that's a better... This is kind of what the color is. That would be closer to what it actually looks like in person. See more rose gold. I need to adjust this camera. Cause yeah, even my hands are supposed to be more, more red. More red and pink and what's the word? Flush? Is that the word? Okay, see so sandwich mount. The plate just goes on top of the case. And then the top. And then you just screw the whole thing in. Like so. So. Easiest way to do it is to just move the whole board at the edge of your table, be careful. And then screw in. One corner, screw in that corner, and then when you turn it around. Yeah, so for this desk mat, you can actually get some of the other ones they have. They have a yellow one with fries and, and yes, as in French fries, not flies. I can pronounce my L's. Thank you very much. And there's one where it is a baby blue with popsicles that one's pretty cool i'm actually thinking about getting that one because i want a blue desk mat it has a stream background and they have a pink hot pink pink that is i don't remember what the pink one is ice cream maybe you want to say and they have a gray one with shark fins. Yeah, I like the shark fin one as well. You have, which one did you say you have? Oh, the donuts. Okay, donuts. Yeah, that's, there we go. I forgot, I thought it was ice cream. I wanna get the pink one for Tootsie, but I think the donuts would be insulting. Wait, but why? Oh, you had the burger one as well, so you have the same thing? Nice, dude. And how much did you pay for yours? You said you paid almost 40 something dollars, right? Because on Amazon right now, for $30 with prime shipping. So I got mine, but you got yours a lot earlier. So I guess you paid for early access. Wait, but why would donuts be insulting? Just because Asians own most donut shops? Is that why? Or is it just cause donuts are <laughs> fat? Come on. She's not fat at all. I don't think she would be offended. 
I'm sure she has thicker skin than that. <laughs> There's a moss red donut on it. Well, I mean, it is nice though. Come on, it it is nice. Right. Just because I have a burger desk, man, doesn't mean I'm fat. Well, I guess, I guess. But th that's not the point, right? I could have been skinny and still like this desk mat. This is why he doesn't have a girlfriend. Nah, I mean, come on. It'll be fine. Just get the burger one for yourself, right? And then slowly wean yourself off. <laughs> you guys want a zoomed in look? Like what most keyboard people do? Oh, look at this. Oh, you get like the shoulder view. You know, there's someone peering over the shoulder. Make them vegan burgers and you'll be fine. Yeah, see, so it could be vegan do donuts. Yeah. So the whipped cream, or the cream on it, is made of soy milk. Almond cream, or whatever. I mean, donuts are actually healthy though, right? Because instead of eating a whole piece of dough, you're actually taking a big chunk of it out. So that's moderation, right? Most people can't even control themselves when it comes to eating. You're intentionally taking part of your food out, rationing it. I think eating donuts should be commended. I eat donuts all the time and look at me, I'm okay. All right, right. <laughs> You'd be an excellent fitness trainer. Oh yeah, I will be. I'm very motivational, I think. I inspire, I'm very positive, I'm not negative, right? Yeah, you know, when, when people feel like quitting, I'll tell them to keep going, right? I oh, shouldn't eat that donut. No, don't you quit, go eat it, go eat it. Don't quit on me now, okay, maybe I keep catch for it. I'm thinking chocolatier, because we haven't done anything other than cherry profile in a long time. Yeah, it's kind of, it's actually the same, I don't know. So my elder brother, well, he was for the past few years in, he still does it. He's, he is a practicing therapist with a license. He recently got his license, official license. So it's a, to practice, what's it called? Family therapy. So, you know, family and child psychology, stuff like that. And so, you know, it's kind of what you think about when you think psychologist, right? When you get a psych degree, you get two master's degrees in psych, you think, yeah, you know, you're going to do that. And I've always told him, you know, I've always told everyone, actually, yeah, I, I can't, I can't be a therapist. I can't do it. I, I really won't make a good therapist. Yeah, man, I just... 
I just don't feel like doing anything, you know, in my life. Don't do anything! Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, man, you know, I just feel like, you know, I don't want to take care of my kid anymore. Yeah. Do what you want, man. Just, you know, blah. life's too short, whatever. And yes, he did get his master's from Abilene. But to be fair, to be completely fair, that school's master's program is actually decent. It's not bad. It's actually... One of the better ones. The psych school there is actually one of the better schools in that. One of the better programs in that school, for sure. For sure. Okay, so. Let's see, chocolate here. So what qualities do we want in this thing? We want the golden ticket, right? Sure. And then I'm assuming we want the gold mass drop key. So this was a kind of like a golden ticket for that drop on mass drop. So not everyone got this. Although I think more people than I thought got one. But I got one. Gotta show that off, right? Sun and white fox. See, GMK feels pretty good on it. I think it needs a heavier spring for the SA cut. This feels kind of slow. Check C. Wobble. 
I did say S A N. Zillios or Gaterons. There are problems and oh boy. Wait, A S T F. Oops. Yep, unfortunately so. Hey, yeah, Thick Boy, have you been watching all today? I saw a few Brigitas when I did clan set it. Did you even have it on? I, I I leave it on on 160p muted, just to get the just to get the tokens. Tokens anymore. Hey, Backman. Hello, hello. Being new to this stuff, can you explain to me why soldering is important and what happens if you don't? So you mean building keyboards and jet or soldering in general? And so you need to solder the switches to the PCB. So that's why it's important, I guess. And there have been some hot swap options, but still not a lot for keyboard stuff and if you've heard of hole tights i would not recommend those those don't work too well and so yeah so if you want to build custom keyboards you have to find a way to connect the switches to the pcb and so most of the time you're gonna to need to solder the switches in Where the hell is my other tab? So here. You won't even work if you don't do so. Nope. 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 So just like what Thick Boy says, yeah, it won't work because then the switch is not connected to anything. Okay, so this annoys me about Chocolatier. I think this is the worst part about Chocolatier. Now God will say it because it's brown, but don't listen to him. Okay, see, so for the alphas, you have cream or beige on brown. For the mods, it's white on brown instead of cream. But the novelties, you get cream on brown. And that looks great. That looks very nice. But with the mods, you have white on brown. Not the novelties. Right? And I think most people, when they were buying it, they thought they were going to get this. They assumed, because this looks great. This, on the other hand, not so much. I, I don't know. I don't know. 
Yeah, that that does annoy me because the 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 cream or beige color is very nice, and I wish we would have just kept that for the whole thing. I know, right? Isn't it kind of dumb? I didn't notice it till now, and no, I kind of stopped noticing it. Yeah, I don't think I even really noticed it the first time I was looking at the set. And now after, because even pictures is not that obvious as well. But then after it gets pointed out, it's just what the hell. Where the hell are my arrow keys? There we go. These arrows, okay. Over here. Do you like ar the arrow symbols more, or do you like the... I used to have this set out here, actually. Out here at the table, at the workstation. Is it better than cherry for you? It depends. Although I still prefer cherry myself. And yes, this is a keyboard. Ushak Zoo, welcome to the stream. So we're pretty much almost done already. We are just wrapping things up, putting keycaps on, and we're going to do a sound test. Okay, so... Would you rather have... What the hell? Where are my arrow keys? Would you rather have these arrows... Oh, whoops, I just noticed. I have two up arrows. Would you rather have these arrows or would you rather have text arrows? So like... Up. Does that look better or do you like the actual arrows? Yeah, so this channel, I build keyboards at least once a week, every Friday. And some, now that it's the summer, I'll be doing a few more streams between Fridays. Is it a cheaper option to buy a pre-made one? No, no, quite the opposite actually. But you get more for your money. And you get to pick what you want and you get to do it right. So no, it is not like building a PC where you actually get a better deal. But technically, honestly, if you build your own, the difference is that Specs wise on paper, it might not sound better, but actually feeling wise, it's quite a bit better. So if you ask me, I will always recommend getting a custom keyboard. Always, almost always. Yeah, so quick question. Normal arrows or text arrows like this? You guys let me know. Okay, see, thick boy is to here. Look at this. This is this is annoying as fuck. Okay, so for the novelties, look at this shit. So you've got white and brown. For row one, so on your escape novelty key, right? But for your windows keys, the bottom row novelties, they are beige on brown. Cream on brown. Look at that. It's the same symbol. Just uh, what the fuck? Yeah, that's my least favorite part about chocolatier for sure. Oh, 
Okay, so when you said normal, you mean Batman, when you mean the symbols? Because I believe the normal is actually the text. That's actually the normal. The set came with text as standard, and if you wanted arrows, you had to buy them, I believe. Came with the novelties, I want to say. Okay, so... Now it's a matter of I need key over here. I put this I think. Don't want it though. Actually, yeah. Now take this one off. Oh, I said normal attacks. Okay, well, okay, yeah. Then we'll do we'll do arrows. Do arrows. Another thing, the arrows are also beige on brown, whereas everything else is white and brown. Don't ask me why. I don't know. I don't know why. No idea. I wish I did. Okay, so enough of this part. Delete and then delete here. How are we gonna do this? Page up, page down, page down. No, we're not, we don't need, don't need that page down, page down. Boom. Page up. Delete. Home. Another page up. Do we have an end? what I need and where the fuck is end oh, is end not here blue shock zoo says my keyboards micro as you broke off Rip. well if you know to solder you can solder a new one in without replacing the whole board oh I just noticed So we actually got a replacement for the backspace. I forgot about that. See, so it came with this initially, but that's wrong because that's not how you spell backspace. So we got to replace with this. Okay, so where the hell is my end key? I see one over here. Is there not another one? Oh, is that annoying thing? Okay, there we go. We should be good.
Put it on a solder, so maybe I'll just buy a new board. Well, you there, there should be quite a few tutorials and instructables out there for replacing your USB connector. It's not... Well, I want to say it's not terribly difficult, but actually it's not easy either. It's more difficult than soldering switches, for example. Yeah, so if you want to look at where to solder, there are quite a few, if you just Google them and YouTube them, it's quite a few out there. Or something else you can do is you can go to my YouTube channel or just look at my VODs since you're on Twitch already. And you can see what I do. So, cause you tuned in when we're pretty much done, but you will see I have quite a few, I have quite a bit of a backlog of just build streams. So you get to see basically everything that goes on. And if you want, we will still be streaming Friday night, 9.30 p.m. Well, usually we start around 10, honestly. CS Central Time. And so you can tune in as well. We will go through the whole process. It will be, it'll be a very expensive board actually this Friday. And so you can check that out. It'll be basically the whole process of building a keyboard. And I hope you can join us. You get to see a bit more of what goes on. Yeah, so hopefully that'll help. It is some of the easiest soldering work you can do in when it comes to building keyboards. Yeah, I would say if you are interested in doing it, definitely take your time to learn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so we started this, so we've been, this stream has gone on for two and a half hours at least. Am I doing my math right? Almost three hours. Yeah, the stream has gone on for almost three hours. So we did do the whole thing and it's not just soldering as well. You can see what I did with the stabilizers, the, the mods. You, you'll see what I'm talking about if you go watch the VOD. Yeah, or any of my other VODs, right? So yeah, so for this, thanks for the follow. Oh, why are the names not showing up? Hmm. Hopefully this doesn't crash the stream. Oh wow, chat just went weird. Oh yeah, I think it's working now. Yeah, it lags when I open my browser and stuff. Yeah. Oh, Red Hawk is still here. Okay. So yeah, so every Friday we do a stream, but it's summer now, so we're gonna do more streams. So a lot of keyboard building, especially content in this stream. And if you want, also check out the Discord. If you have questions and stuff like that. A lot of friendly folk on there. So yeah, so if you just scroll down right now on, on this channel, you'll see just I have links for some stuff. So I have a link to the Discord, I have a link to my YouTube channel, link to Chokan's YouTube channel as well. Someone mentioned, Tefer mentioned that. Chokan has a lot of good YouTube videos and tutorials and stuff like that. Check that out too. Oh, studying for physics? Nice. Man, when does the semester end? This coming week? Or are you on that quarter system? Okay, so this is the assembled board. Right now I'm gonna plug it in. Wish I had a gold or brown cable. All right, it's got the warm white LEDs, which I think looks super nice. Hey, MinHC654, welcome to the stream. Yeah, Chocolatier with champagne anodizing. Oh wow, what's happening? And warm white LEDs, I think that looks very nice. But the keyboard's kind of freaking out right now. Let's 
It's like a honey color. Yeah. Actually, it does look like honey in person. It actually really does look like honey. That is that is a good description. Yeah, let's see, look at that. Okay, so if you want to take a closer look at the board. So we've got the golden ticket. All right, look at that. It really does look like honey. Very fitting. Or caramel. It looks like caramel. Chocolate and caramel. Very nice. So these are double shot ABS keycaps and SA profile, right? You'll see it's very tall, very curvy. It's the bottom. It's a brass weight. Makes the keyboard very heavy. And we've got fingerprints and stuff. We'll have to clean that up. It's a very nice board. This is the second TX65 that we've built on stream. The previous one was silver. So this one is something different. Right, it's a very nice board, that's for sure. Very chunky, very heavy, very premium feeling. Your radar says it's ended for me, but I have a makeup exam since I missed a few. You missed a few exams? What happened? Bangman says, by the way, which switches are these? These are the Zillio 67 gram switches. And yeah, it is a nice combo of colors, that's for sure. I I hope I don't make the 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 lady that's paying for this sport. I hope I don't make her one SA chocolatier, because this just looks so good if SA chocolatier. Looks super nice. Or maybe she already does have an SA shop right here. Okay, so we've already tested the switches. Let's test the board again just to be sure. Just realized. Okay, so just trying to test the board. Again, green is good, red is bad. Lavender or bluish purple just means something is being held down. Yeah, these switches feel really weird of SA keycaps, honestly. So a G with a GMK spacebar, it felt just fine. This feels kind of slow with... I think what I would recommend her to do is swap the spring out for a heavier one. For the spacebar, if she plans on using SA keycaps. GMK feels perfect. Feels great. Yeah, SA SA space bars are super heavy. Look at that. Just look at the size of this lad. What an absolute unit. It's like a Kit Kat bar, basically. So yeah. Very thick, very heavy. Not sick for a month, mid semester. Oh man, that sounds that sounds pretty terrible, man. Did you ever get a new phone, by the way, or are you still waiting? And Ushok Zoo. So this is not a board for me. This is actually a build for a customer. So I do custom keyboard assembly and modding services, as you can see in the. 
Damn it. There we go. Bottom left corner, right there. So I build keyboards for people. Oops. And so this is a customer build. So she bought the parts and the kit, sent it my way. I put everything together. Okay, so now for a typing test. See? Very nice. I actually quite like it. Quite enjoyed actually. I am 
surprised that I wasn't expecting too much, but I actually do quite like the way it sounds and feels. I surprisingly actually type faster on SA caps with Zilios than I do with chair profile on linears. I didn't think I would be able to type that fast because I haven't typed on SA caps in a long, long time. And this is something I would use. Sorry, I, it's not bad. Quite like it. And of course, stabilizers, no rattle. None of that metal sound. Red House says, yeah, but Honor 7X, gonna use that to hold off to the end of the year when new shit comes out. That's right. Man, I wish we could get the Nokia 7 Plus. That's a pretty good film. Ushok Zoo says, is building a single hand keyboard possible? Yeah, there are a lot of options, and I think if you look into it, you will, you might be overwhelmed, honestly. So VPR says, is there a colorway like SA Chocolatier in a different profile? The closest one would be the DSA Retro. And even then, it's not close, right? It's brown and burgundy. That, I think, would be the closest one. Space by hitting the metal sounds like Morse code. Is that brass plate, man? SA keycaps, brass plate, just... Echo for days. Yep, so that's the build for today. Quite like it. Let's look at it with the with a few more lights off just to see the LEDs. Pretty cool. Let's see how it looks. Oh man, that is kind of nice. So I have basically a yellow light, a warm light. If you want, oh, just look at that. Ooh. I think that looks quite nice. And so I think a lot of people, their evening night setups would look kind of similar to this. I need to start doing this. I need to start making, because most people I know don't have white, don't use bright white lights like I do. So it's kind of what most people would see. Right. Okay, maybe not as yellow. Let's get a little bit of white light in there. See, so not bad, not bad. Hopefully that gives you guys a better idea of what it'll look like in different lighting. Let's go back to white. Bright white. Yeah, so I like this board. One of my favorite builds. Mm. Recent weeks, quite like it. And so that's been the build. Let me know if you have any other questions before I sign off for the night. I did not plan on streaming it so late. So, it's been the build. Thanks for all those who tuned in. Welcome the new people we have today. People like Ushak Zoo and who else is new? Hip is new. What's well, new here? Anybody else? O2 
Oh, Titi. I mean, oh, thank you, thank you. Is God here? Can I hear it? Okay, well, I'll do it. Just for you, real quick. We already did the typing test ready. I'm more, I'm signing off, but just for you, I'll type a paragraph. See you, Chairhorn, Tefram. See you, Redhawk. Redhawk, good luck studying. I hope you manage to stay up. I'm, I should be up for a few hours. So, well, see you, AGF. Oh, you've been lurking. All right, see you, Tefram. Yeah, I hope you you do okay. All right, well, good night, everybody else. I will see you all. Either tomorrow, I don't know if I can stream tomorrow, we'll see. Either tomorrow or... But Friday, Friday for sure, Friday for sure. I will see you guys on Friday. Right. Other than that... Alright, and see you... Min... C654. Hope you guys have a good rest of the week. We oh don't forget this Friday. Don't forget. It's the lighting, god damn it. That's not gonna work. That doesn't work great either. Okay, don't forget this Friday. OTD 360 Corsa build. Huge. It's gonna be, I think, I wanna say, the first live stream of an OTD 360 Corsa. So pretty big deal. Don't forget to tune in Friday night. Same time, same place. See you guys.